Okay guys, welcome back to the second time I've done this video. The first one, let's just say she decided it was too many editing, so I had to go ahead and toss that one. So we're going to do it again. Today, we're going to be talking about how to remove a radiator out of a Volkswagen Beetle all the way up to, I'd say about, about 2005 is about the same when they changed, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yes. Yeah, I think about 2005. Um, Alright guys, so the, what they recommend is to take this off the, the two fenders and the bumper cover off as a whole. Not that big a deal. It seems like a rather daunting task, but it's really not that big a deal. You're going to need a little uh, Torx bit set. And um, if my memory serves me correct, I think it's 25 and 27 or 24 and 27. And uh, a 10 millimeter socket. And I can't think of any. Mine was a little uh, jacked up. Some people put some aftermarket stuff on it. You won't have to deal with that. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you where those fasteners are at, and then at the end of it, of course, you'll have to unplug your lights from the bottom if you have fog lights and your blinkers and stuff like that, but not that big a deal. I did this job in how long? An hour or so. Yeah, I took this all apart in about an hour, and of course, i got to put it back together. It'll probably take another hour and a half, but I wanted to take time to share it to you because the first time I went and looked for this video, there isn't any out there that I give any kind of credit to that I've seen. Um, Anyway, so this is just for the do-it-yourself guy who keep that money in your pocket. Let's go over here to this fender. Let me give him a quick view of that. You know, just a quick tip. This has nothing to do with the car, but <laughs> for all you guys that have your wife being your producer, it's a little more stressful than the job itself. I just want to throw that out there. Now, we're going to get back to the video. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Jennifer. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, I won't talk back. All right, so here we go. So we got a little uh, fender bracket that comes down here, and I think it's a T25. I don't <laughs> know why he's laughing line. now. I'm just laughing because it made me laugh. But anyway, you got a little T25 fastener. <laughs> All right, cut. So on the inside, the first thing you're gonna come across is the fender, the fender inner wall, and that shield in there. It's got a bunch of little. Um, screws holding it in. It really doesn't take that long to take it out. You'll see multiple ones coming all the way through the inside of here. Take you a few minutes, take it out, no big deal. Um, the real fasteners for the fender, there's a little bracket here. You'll see it as soon as you look under. Um, you take the two bolts out and the bracket comes out no problem. Fastener here on the inside, you won't be able to see unless you look underneath it. Fastener here and then um, it's kind of unique because I'm used to doing American built cars and uh, don't do too many Volkswagens, but they got uh, some fasteners here and you'll see three more down here. Now these are just 10 millimeter nuts, no big deal. You can take them off with no problem. And on the bottom of the cowl right here, you're going to have two more. And basically uh, when this thing is released, or you should be able to kind of just move it off these studs a little bit and it'll give you a little bit of flexibility. Do that on both sides of your fenders. And then the next thing you're going to have to deal with is probably your headlights. So let me give you an idea of what's going on with them. The headlights, if you're not used to how these come out, could be a little daunting. Uh, it's actually, they come out very simple once you understand it. And I'm going to kind of show you in reverse order. You see these tracks right here? There's going to be three of them. One you can't see because it's faced right here. And basically the headlight just, just slides in and slides out. Now, how that works is there's a lever inside of there that has a little push down tab. I'm going to switch to the other angle so you can see it over here. So there's a push down tab by this black lever. You just depress that tab, slide the lever in the up position, and it'll, it'll slightly gently just kind of release your light and you'll realize that you got to tug on the light just a little bit to get it out. And the reason we got to do that is, if you can see right here camera, there is a body fastener right here that goes to the bumper cover. So in order to get the bumper covers off, we're going to have to take that bolt off on each one of the lights. The light's got to be removed, unfortunately, to make that happen. Um, as you're sliding this off, of course, you've got your bottom electrical to disconnect, but of course, mine didn't have a splash shield underneath it, so of course, I didn't have to worry about that, but you might, and therefore, take care of that as well on the bottom. Might be a couple of fasteners there. You can see around the headlights, got these little... Let us move over there, because you can't see it too good okay. from this view. Okay, so now the tabs right here, this is what the, it's going to seem like they're kind of stuck on a little bit. You just kind of ease them off of it. And uh, of course, that's your electrical plug to your light. You just flip the thing on the back of it up and it slides out, no problem. 
But anyway, your bumper car will come off nice and easy. It's really not that big a deal. I mean, it's. I would recommend a second person to help you out because you can see, and I'm a pretty big guy, that this right here is just a little, it's a little much for one person. Now, when you get down to the, getting to the radiator here, all right, put it on pause. Okay, so uh, you're going to have your bumper out there. Your bumper's just got an 18-millimeter bolt that hangs on it. It's about like this. It's going to take a socket and a wrench. doesn't take very much effort to take it off. The bumper slides out. Then you're going to have your little bumper shocks, no problem. Take those plates off. 10-millimeter and a 13-millimeter. Not a whole lot of effort. Pretty easy. And then you're going to have a top cover and the shroud to the radiator. Basically, same thing. The T24 just takes it off and it removes off. Just a plastic cover. Actually, I see a little bit of damage on this one. I wonder why that is. Anyway. Imagine that. No big surprise there. No. Oh, it's broke there too. Anyway, um, I guess I need another one of those. When you're taking off this shroud right here, this is kind of a key point. You may uh, elect to not take off of your... Or you, yeah, you may not want to take your latch off, and that's okay. But it does have a micro switch to it. If you're not going to take it off, go ahead and disconnect your micro switch right here. And then you see this little cable with the ball hook on it? Okay, hang on. Let me get, the, let me get a bracket for the... Okay. So this is how the bracket goes in. It'll be sitting here kind of like so. Or actually, if you were looking at it, it'd be kind of like this. And the two little brackets are down here. The one just hooks in right here. And then, of course, the other micro is down here. But you don't want to disconnect that if you don't have to. So the only thing you have to do is disconnect the cable. All right. Now, moving into it, it goes into the condenser. The condenser is pretty simple and straightforward, except... The bracket at the corner, let me get it right here. I left it completely intact, but this bracket right here needs to disconnect off of the bottom of the radiator. You're going to see it right here at the bottom. And of course, there's a few fasteners going around. Now, one thing that's interesting, this, la this radiator literally just starts falling out like it literally just kind of falls out so it's really not hard to get out at all it's probably the easiest radiator ever done in my life um the radiator itself comes out as a unit with the fan give me a second i'll get that for you so here's the prize is the radiator and its fan core uh, no big deal on this once again it just kind of came out as a piece the fans just unplug right here I, I waited to the very end to unplug that in the sensor right here um, no big deal. They just got a little snap ring or snap on it just like the other little fasteners do and they just pop out. I'm going to test these fans, of course, because this is a lot of crap to go through to have to change something. It's very easy to do it right now. Like I said, it's one unit. Check your hoses. Make sure they're not soft or whatever. And is there anything else I'm forgetting? Did you show them where ours was busted? Ah, let me show you where the damage is at. It's right here. We'll help them. Don't know if you can really see it in their camera, but there's a crack going down right here. Mm. And it looks like it's cracked here. Maybe you can just kind of make out the yeah. dark line. Can you see it? it? Yeah. And you can see the discoloration, obviously, where the water's been going. No big deal. And hey, guys, when you're draining your uh, radiator, this is another key thing. You just turn this right here, and it'll come out. No problem. Drain it all down nice and good. I guess that's pretty much a wrap. Subscribe to the car man, and I swear to God, I'll just keep making more and more videos. <laughs> he's anyway, go he's away. got he's got issues today. Yeah, I got issues today. Apparently, it's you know too he can't heat, take he take. can't take the director of videography yeah, and the listen to her. Today is just too much <laughs> to handle. I'm gonna go and complain to the department. Um, but I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, can you support Homefront Hugs? Homefront Hugs they USA. Do that they should do that because Homefront Hugs helps our troops. Okay, stop. The reason I keep laughing during this video, she's doing it and everybody knows who Jennifer is. She's this real pretty pageant girl. Beauty queen. Apparently, no. 
But today, <laughs> she has a grease going across her forehead that she does not know about and a black mustache that she does not know about. And so the whole time, her and her daughter, me and her daughter, have just been trying making to keep fun a straight of me. face, but she doesn't know why, so I'm going to go ahead and let that out. No, I figured, no support I, home front hugs. I figured it was um, more to do with just being typical, you know. Can I take a picture of you and show the audience? No, that's not going to happen. I have <laughs> please, to go get ready for dinner. Please, please. If it... <laughs> the answer is no, but I would be happy to show you all the grease on him. Yeah, that's no problem. Everybody knows I stay <laughs> dirty as crap. That's no big deal. My hands don't, though, see. That's the yeah. thing. As long as my nails aren't greasy, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, she does not get her figured out. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's a $50 error on my part. Yes, sir. We're on our way down to the salon if something happens. Anyway, guys. Um, support Home Front Hugs USA. Support your troops, man. They're out there getting the job done. We love everybody. I think we're being watched in every country in the world and then some. I guess Mars is tuned in. But anyway, no matter where you're at, we love you guys, man. Stay tuned, and we'll come out with a new one.